I started to more so feel like I belonged here. Like I belonged on YouTube. And I would think like, just as I watch other YouTubers, I belong here too. Hello YouTube, it's your girl Denisha Johnson back with another video. Today's video is going to be about starting a YouTube channel in 2023 part 2. If you have not already seen part 1, you want to go ahead and check it out because a lot of stuff that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is kind of a continuation from part 1. So go ahead and check that out. I'm going to try to remember to leave it down in the description down below. But let's get right to it. So as I mentioned, today's video is kind of going to be a continuation of part one, but I'm going to go more in detail for y'all, okay? I know a few of y'all asked for part two, so I'm coming with it today. Yes, ma'am. So let's kind of talk about where I'm at with subscribers. Since I have made part one, I have gained close to 100 subscribers, I want to say. Not exactly, but almost. And that was a blessing. Y'all really showed out on that video. And I just want to say shout out to all y'all. And shout out to all the new people that came from that video. Y'all on the bomb.com. So, starting a YouTube channel in 2023 part 2. Number 1. I want to talk about confidence. Honey. I feel like confidence is half the battle. I think a lot of times when you're first starting off especially. You probably are having thoughts like. My voice sounds terrible. I don't like the sound of my voice. I don't look right on camera and I know exactly how you feel because that was me at one point. I was so hesitant to record my first video because I was like, man, it's not going to sound right. It's going to sound weird. And even when I did record my first video, I played it back and listened to it and I'm like, oh, I was cringing so hard. So I know exactly how you feel. But I promise you, as you keep pushing that content out, you're going to get used to it. And I can speak from experience because I noticed that as I continued to make videos, I kind of started caring less and less about how my voice sounded. I started to more so feel like I belonged here, like I belonged on YouTube. And I would think like, just as I watch other YouTubers, I belong here too. So you really got to tell yourself like, I belong here. This is where I'm supposed to be. And I think that feeling will start to kind of wear away as you continue to create and continue to make your presence known on YouTube. Another pointer I learned as far as confidence goes, I noticed that when I'm not looking my best self, I'm a lot less likely to show up on camera. Like if my hair is not looking presentable, you know, if I'm just looking like crazy, I'm a lot less likely to record a video. And so I've noticed that kind of just starting my day off, even if I'm off of work and I don't got nothing to do, just starting my day off, getting in the shower, freshening up, it hires the chances of me recording a video because I'm already looking put, put together. And so I feel a lot more comfortable getting on camera and recording me a video. That's another pointer. Get your self care right. You know, take care of yourself, do your nails. My nails ain't done right now, so excuse that. But yes, yeah, like look presentable and you know how they say if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you do good. So I think that's really something that will help you. Just overall, hoping your appearance look better will make you feel more confident to record a YouTube video. On to number two, the algorithm. Now I want to say this right here. I know you have heard 50 million plus YouTubers say be consistent on YouTube. And I'm not going to cap. They are not lying. Consistency really helps your channel grow. I've noticed that when I don't post consistently, YouTube kind of punishes me for that. Maybe it's not YouTube. I guess it's really the algorithm, but YouTube will see you bringing people to their platform and keeping them on their platform for a, you know an extended period period of time. They will continue to push your videos out when they see that you bringing people to them. When you bring people to them, obviously you bring your money to them. And so they're going to return that back to you, pretty much give you them views and obviously get you that pay once you monetize. So being consistent is definitely something that I am struggling with. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like once I get that in the bag, like my channel will definitely take off a lot more than what it has been doing. I'm not going to say that I've been doing the worst on YouTube because I know that there are people who have grown slower and there's people that's grown faster. But I will say that I know that that's something I could do better at. You know, my consistency with YouTube. Life be lifing, not gonna lie, but this is something that I'm trying to get serious about. So I do need to be better at treating it like an actual nine to five job. 
and that's something I would recommend if you see yourself really making YouTube a career or whatever have you definitely think that you should treat it as if it is your nine to five because it's, it's your business it's something that you invest in your time and energy into and you want to make sure that you are making it worth your while and making it work for you all right so our third point is planning out your content I've noticed that when I plan my content out ahead of time it makes me so much more likely in being consistent with my channel and I feel like planning your content out kind of can play into the next point that we have which is making searchable topics so with searchable content it's very important especially when you first starting off because let's be honest a lot of people will not know you if anybody at all starting off on YouTube so they're not gonna watch a video that they may watch coming from somebody with thousands of subscribers because you still have to build that audience you still gotta put yourself out there you know make your presence known and build your brand up your brand is your name and your face so you gotta still build that up so in order to really start building that momentum on your channel I feel like making searchable content is very important and I mentioned in my first video that my very first viral video on YouTube was a video of me doing my hair. Now if you pay attention to the way that I worded that video, I worded it something like how to do crochet braids. How to videos are very likely to go viral because there's a lot of things that people don't know how to do. Even if you know how to do it, that don't mean that somebody else knows how to do it. So when you put how-to videos up on your channel, it really likens the chances of that video going viral because a lot of people go to YouTube to, sh to figure out how to do something. I do that myself. I hops right on YouTube if I don't know how to do many things. So making those searchable videos is so, so vital to any YouTube channel, but especially when you're starting off. And that's a big reason why, and probably the main reason why that, that that video on my channel blew up because at that point I had definitely less than 100 subscribers. And so for that video to get 16,000 views, I know that the algorithm really favored that video and it had a lot to do with the way I titled it. So make searchable content and it will help your channel tremendously. All right, lovelies, and this brings us to the very last point. Be trendy, but make it your own. Now, I don't want you to get too caught up in following what everybody else is doing. However, you kind of do got to follow the trend a little bit and jump on the bandwagon just a little bit. But when I say make it your own, don't copy somebody's title to the T. You know, don't copy their video aesthetic to the T take pointers and inspiration from different youtubers because we all do it let's be real take pointers and inspiration but add your own twist to it you know what i'm saying so if you see somebody start off their video this way get some inspiration but then be like okay i can do it this way and add this to it you know what i mean just make it your own spice it up juice it up and stay trendy and the reason why it's important to do that is because if you see a large amount of people interested in this specific type of video or this specific type of content title whatever why wouldn't you want to give that out yourself and make it your own because you know that it's something that's popular it's something that people want to see something that they enjoy watching and so it just makes sense to kind of jump on that bandwagon but like i said don't be copying nobody's work to the t because that's kind of plagiarism and it's like people want to go to your channel and like you for who you are. Just be you, like I said in part one. Be you, but make it your own. And you gotta be a little trendy with it, I ain't gonna lie. But I think that brings us to the end of this video. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to ask. I am gonna be more than willing to answer. Uh, shout out to everybody who has subscribed, new subscribers, old subscribers, OG subscribers. Y'all are the bombs.com. I love y'all. Jesus Christ loves y'all. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment in the description down below. Not the description. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if it was helpful. But I'm about to get up out of here, y'all. Peace, love, and blessings.